السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ربی شرحلی صدری و یسر علی عمری وحل العقدت من لسانی یفقہ قولی ربنا زدنا علما اللہم فقہنا فی الدین اللہم انی اسألک علما نافیا و رزقا طیبا و عملا متقبلا آمین رب العالمین سو ہیر وی آر ان آر سیشن نمبر سکسٹی تھری این وی ہیو سٹارٹڈ لرننگ اسم موصول ان آر لاسٹ سیشن الحمد للہ سو آئی ول سٹارٹ ود مائی سیشن نمبر سکسٹی تھری ود مائی ریویو کین یو آل ہیئر می Or am I talking to myself? <laughs> you can. So, uh, yeah, so <clears throat> you can. Uh, so who, can, who was not able to hear me before? Cannot hear, okay. No, everyone can hear me. Alhamdulillah. So get ready for your review, inshallah. So in our review today, we have <clears throat> some work from last session, but uh, I will go to the last session as well, but inshallah, we'll start uh, with the review um, from session number 63, okay? Inshallah. So types of in, who can tell me the types of in? How many in have we learned so far? Three, Barakallah. Number one is number, right? So we have so far learned three types of in and there are a few more and we will go over them. Um, they're not that very hard. The hard ones we have, you know, gone over. So tell me. What are the three types you have learned, my dear sisters? <clears throat> so yeah, mukhafafa. Yes, the, the most difficult one is coming first. Okay, no. Yeah, so you, yes, negation. You Now think about nasiba. That is un-nasiba, right? In is jazima, right? As Sister uh, Zohra has uh, writing, causing madzum, fail after it um, uh, to be madzum, right? So... It is in, number one, we learn in jazima, okay? In jazima. Number two, we learn in nakia, which was in that X like which other negation particle? Its function is like ma barakallahu feek. And ma is a easy negation or a very strong negation? would have been very, very strong, very strong, very emphatic, and has refutation as well. So correction of others' points of, point of view as well happens with ma, always remember. And in has the same um, ability, it has the same power, okay? So if you uh, listen to Arabs, they will teach you that in nafia bimani ma, okay? So remember that, inshallah. So the third type um, of in, as Sister Ranaz has typed earlier, uh, who remembers about that in? A very hard name, but it is, you have gone through harder names uh, than that. So just like, you know, we have noon, Fakila and Khafifa from the same root letters, Mukhafafa, okay? From the same root letters because it is light. What made it light? What, how can you, most of the time in Arabic, in Arabic language, how do we make a word light? Who remembers from term one? What do we do to a word to make it light? No, uh, no you, you be more um, uh, precise. Yes, yes, this would have been. Yeah, I will take this as a, you know, remember, Susanna, we always call it, you know, uh, Tanmeen is, uh, you know, noon that is read but not written. So always be, always, you know, we, 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 in your notes, if you go back, my dear sisters, you will see that, you know, we remove noon, your word is going to be light. So because, you know, how we have expanded our, uh, Alhamdulillah, with the, bi'iznillahi ta'ala, with help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only, um, that how we went over each and every letter of our Muslim charta, if you remember, right? So, you know, we went over, you know, okay, this word is heavy because of the mean and the mean has a noon, sakina. Then if the word is dual, then the word, the noon, the same very noon gets noon kasra. Remember? Noon kasra. Noon avid anit tanween. Now is it because it is the, replacing your tanween. And then same noon. When it is with fatha, it is seen in, with the plural like muslimuna word. And um, that is, uh, again, the same noon, uh, and can also be called nunul jama, 
right? So there were different names and uh, you all have the, learned those names um, in our previous sessions, right? As well, because we learned the types of noon as well. Alhamdulillah. So if, if I see, if I see anything, um, if I see a fail, um, okay. So what will, uh, let, let me re, um, uh, uh, remake my question. So how will I know my in is jazima or shartiya? For the, for, at this stage, how will you identify if your in is jazima? No. What will be happening? Your in will be, what will you see after your in if it is in jazima? Fail mutare, right? It is jazima to lil mutare, so you will see fail mutare after it. That is mazum in status, simple in answer. It's not hard, right? So you will have an in, and there will be a mudare that is mazum after it, and you will identify this is my in jazima. Okay, how will I identify my in to be nafia? Give me a couple of things about this one. You may have two answers for this. Your mudare is not going to be madzum after it. Remember? Your mudare, number one, is not going to be madzum after it. But the problem is, this in, I think you guys have not gone over your notes. It seems like you guys have not known, uh, gone over your notes, my dear sisters. Please, you know, the, these notes are for your benefit. I, I don't make them because I like making them, but yes, I enjoy making them too. That's another thing. But, you know, I make them so that people benefit, okay? So, you know, if you look at this table, hmm? what do you see after in? Sister uh, Zora has written that, you know, I, I will see illa after it. So that is one clue, right? One clue is I will have illa. And if I have mudare after it, mudare is going to be in what status? Yes, it can work on both mudare and madi. Mudare is going to be in marfu status, right? Number one clue, illa. Number one clue, illa, as sisters have written. And number two clue is, if it is seen in front of mudare, you will see that mudare is retaining its noon or it is going to be in marfu status. There is nothing that happened to mudare. That is why I wrote, and we have learned it like that, that, you know, it is in nafia, ghair amila. Ghair hmm? amila, because it does not have any action. It did not do any action on the fail after it. But when you see in jazima, what did you see? What are you seeing after in jazima? What is happening to mudare? Here. Yeah. It is... Marfur majzoom. It is majzoom bihasfi noon and it is majzoom bisakoon in case of yansur. Huh? Both cases, you see that, you know, that in is making mudare majzoom. And you notice that it does not only make one mudare majzoom, but, but it is powerful to make how many mudare majzoom? Two mudare majzoom simultaneously. Because if something is majzoom after it, with wow, that does not count. This one won't count. This one won't count. Okay. But this one counts. Okay. Everyone with me so far? Okay. Alhamdulillah. So this was the second time and as type. And then what was the con, what was the uh, clue for the third type of in that we learned recently in the past couple of sessions in mukhafafa and and inna satila. So what is the uh, clue for that? What do you see after this in? Lamul fariqa. Very well done. Lamul fariqa. Barakallahu feek, my dear sisters. So it is going to be followed by Lamul Fariqa. Very well done. Okay. So, yes, Lam, uh, Lamul Fariqa is going to be there. Everyone, um, I think that was um, enough of a review for this in. 
three types of in and we are we all need to go back on our notes if there is some, something that we have not retained okay from the previous sessions my dear sisters okay uh, has no ismu yes uh, you know ismu is now hidden it is now not visible okay it is hidden for the most part remember we um, gone over it a little bit very tiny bit uh, because I have not taught you the afal that is most that it this type of in is mostly seen with, so I just you know kept it as such. So, but yes, the ismu is hidden; it's mahzuf, not visible. Everyone with me so far, my dear sisters. This is Amina. This is clear. You understood this fact that it is hidden. It is there, but hidden. You cannot see it. Hmm? Alhamdulillah. Okay, now, now what was the second question? The second question that I have for you is types of lam. How many types of lam have we gone over in the last session? So basically, basically we have gone over. You can, yes, you can see say that there are mainly two types, but but we have three names for them. If you remember, one is lamul ibtida. When is it called lamul ibtida? If it is at the beginning of the sentence and is attaching itself to muqtada. Hmm? Hmm? It, in this case, lamul ibtida, when it is attaching itself to muqtada and, and is at the beginning of the sentence. The same very lam, the same very lam, when it is seen with inna, becomes a sliding lam. And it, the, in that case, it is named as lamul muzahlaka. Lamul muzahlaka. Make sense? Slides away. Your your now your your ismu inna is slid away from it. Now inna and ismu inna are distanced. They are not together. This lam took away, slid um akhirata along with it. Making sense or no? Alhamdulillah. So you it's just the name, and you, the main point that you all need to know is that now the, you need to know that if it attaches itself to ismu inna it is going to be towards the end of the sentence and if it attaches to khabru inna it is going to be towards the end of the sentence yes the position for khabru in uh, khabru inna is after ismu inna but sometimes we do see you know uh, uh, you know taqdeem wa taqid, something is you know has been brought forward something has been brought you know has been pushed later so things can sometimes be delayed and and um and can be made uh, can be brought forward okay so is this clear so far my dear sisters alhamdulillah so lamul muzahlaka if i show you inna if i show you inna and you see lam of emphasis in the same verse i will i'm going to expect you to write, give me this name. If someone does not remember this name and they just write, they just type sliding lam, that will suffice. That will tell me that this sister has understood what this lam is all about. Okay. Then comes your lamul fariqa, and what does it do? And the slide is right in front of you. You can read from the slide two that you know what is the third type of lam. It differentiates between. It, 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 it distinguishes one type of in from another, right? It distinguishes in mukhafafa from in nafia. Now, when you see this lam, you know that your in is not nafia, okay? Remember, the in nafia that we have been learning can be seen in jumla ismia as well, as well as in jumla failia. Always remember, okay? It can be seen with Jumla Ismiya and it can be seen with Jumla Failia. Yes, there are different names given to this in, but Nafia would su suffice at this stage. Everyone with me so far? You're just going to, if you see in being translated as negation, giving a meaning of not, you are just going to call it in Nafia. That will be sufficient for you all. Okay? Now, so this lamb, when it is there, it will tell you that do not translate this in as, as either not or 
do not translate it as if it as well. Okay. This in is in the meaning of inna. Okay. Everyone with me so far? And if there is any confusion, I, I, we are going to go over the practice and we'll, you know, I will help you with, you know, whatever, um, you know, we need to do, we'll do it in the class. Okay. Inshallah. So, yes, remember when you have in, which is followed by lam, this lam here is telling you that this in is in mukhafafa. Always remember. This will translate as indeed. There is only one translation for this in that is indeed. Are you with me, Sister Samina, now? Okay. Okay. Let me show you a few examples and see. Let me see if you understood really or how well you understood. Okay. Okay. Now I have my one sentence. Yes, we will um, we will do it. And, and inshallah, I will try, I may try to make sure that, you know, no one is confused after this practice, inshallah, okay? That's what I'm here for. So let me just make it a little big, okay. I am giving you this sentence, Rana's. Stay with me. Forget about uh, your uh, any anything and everything. Just focus on this verse of Quran, okay? So inna, you have seen inna. What is one thing that comes to your mind when you see inna at the beginning of a sentence? What kind of a sentence is, is this going to be? You are seeing inna. What kind of a sentence you are going to see now? Everyone, Rana, this question was for you, right? Jumla ismiya. Jumla ismiya. Tell yourself 10 times today. If I see my inna, anna, ka anna, laita la alla lakinna, I'm going to think about jumla ismiya. If you remember, they are called harufe nasakha. Who remembers? Why are they called harufe nasakha? Nasikha. Why are they called nasikha? They change the Arab. What is there whose Arab is being changed? Is it an ism? Is it a fail? Or what word is there whose Arab are going to be changed? They make something from rough to nasp. What is that that is made Nasbin status, and here comes an answer that is your mubtada. That is your mubtada that is now changed into nasbin status. That is now the status of mubtada is changed to nasb. Everyone with me so far? Always remember if you understand this, there will be no confusion. I, how do I know my sentence is starting? How do I know my this is starting? No, there is no confusion. There should be no confusion. You have been taught, inna anna ka anna, la 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 kinna. They are going to attach themselves to the mubtada of the sentence. They change the mubtada from marfu status to mansub status. And now it is the mubtada, the same very mubtada is going to be called ismu inna or ismu ka, ka inna or ismu um, laita la alla la kinna, all those words. Hmm? Now, Muptada is not called being called Muptada, it's just being called Ismu Inna. So, whenever you see any of these, what will you think about? Again, my dear sisters, I don't want any confusion. Jumla Ismiya, that is Jumla Ismiya number one. Number one is Jumla Ismiya, then you go on to your Muptada because Jumla Ismiya, what are the parts of Jumla Ismiya? Give me the parts of Jumla Ismiya, my dear sisters. Muptada khabar mutalik bil khabar. So now you are in the right location. Now your GPS get, can get whatever confusion, you know, your GPS will be, you might remain confused, but you will, you have already, you know, reached the right destination, okay? After you figured out that this is Jumla, it's the beginning of Jumla Ismiya. Okay, now when you see inna, you start looking for your, you know, muqtada and khabar. Now your muqtada is not going to be muqtada anymore because we have called them harufe nasikha. 
Now, because of inna, you are going to label this ha as ismu inna. And then you will look for khabru inna. Do you find any khabru inna here? Or anything if you can see. Be sabilin. Be sabilin. What is be sabilin? Just because it is not marfu anymore. I taught you the marfu, the status of your muftala is marfu, right? Muftala is always marfu in status. Muftala is never nasp in status. So now this is that. That's why the same very muftada is going to be called ismu inna because now it is it has undergone a change. So we'll treat it as such. But we will understand. We'll have this understanding. That inna anna kanna always attack muktada. So therefore, this is this was my original muktada that has been changed into mansub status because we needed a different meaning. If you remember how we bent over our slides, I think I hope I have them somewhere here. Uh, Sixty-one. Okay, when you see here, when I taught you about these harufi nasiba. Uh, I taught you that when you, you use them to bring emphasis in your sentence and how they do the nasch in your sentence. Uh, nasikha. Why are they called nasikha? They change the status of muqtada from raf to nasb. They abolish the marfu status. Now marfu status is not marfu anymore. Now it is Allah who is not Allah who anymore. And you have learned in the beginning your muqtada is marfu in status. So now you are going to call the same very muqtada ismu inna. And that will solve everything. That you are well versed with your nas. Right? You understood what they are supposed to do. Now you will, when you say, say you know, Allah lafzul jalala is ismu inna, you understand both things. You understand this was your, originally your muqtada. Then inna came and made this lafzul jalala from marfu and changed the status of lafzul jalala from raf to nasb. Okay? Yeah, it is basically the same very muqtada because remember, because they change the status of muqtada. Where are they attaching themselves to? They are always attaching themselves to the muqtada of the sentence. Everyone with me so far, my dear sisters. Now, if they were not, now are they with me? So now, anyone has any apprehension in calling, you know, these um, inna wa ismuha, and, you know, when we use this terminology, anyone has any, you know, any confusion about it? Everyone with me so far there? Should I take it as a yes that you have understood the concept and there will be no confusion? Okay, Alhamdulillah. And we, I'm going, I'm here. So now this ha was basically hiya or hunna. Okay, because it's, I, I know the context of the verse, so that's why I'm saying hunna. Um, but, you know, it was hiya, basically. It was hiya. La sabilim mukim. They are on a path that is well established. Okay, so what is the relationship here? What is ha happening here? Be sabilin. What are you calling be sabilin, my dear sisters? Jaldi. Quick. Jarwal majroor. Sabilim mukim. How are you connecting these two together? Sabilim, mausuf was sifa. Mausuf was sifa, right? Mausuf, sabil is mausuf, and muqim is going to be sifa. So now there was a very interesting concept that I want you all to know. There are certain words in Arabic language that can be treated as masculine and feminine. Few words, not many. There are few words that can be treated as masculine and feminine. Okay. Where did we read this word sabil? What kind of a word it is in terms of gender? What kind of a gender does it have? It is a word from story, right? right? And if it was from story, so you know that this is a herd feminine, mu'annas, mu'annas samai, mu'annas samai, right? Your samai one, the herd feminine. So now what kind of a Sifa, do you have? Is this mukim word masculine or feminine? 
It's a masculine word, right? Easy? Easy? But Sabil is among those words of Arabic language that can be treated either way, okay? So yeah, but th th that's, you know, right now you call it Mosur Safa, keep it easy for yourself. Inshallah, with more and more um, practice, you will know how one word can be uh, treated and, you know, there, there is a different way and all that, okay? So at least Sabil in his Mutalik Bil Khabar, yes, you are going to call it Mutalik Bil Khabar because that's how uh, we have determined uh, uh, the terminology for a Jumla Ismiya and we have, you know, allocated Al Jarwal Majroor as Mutalik Bil Khabar. What will you call this lam now? There's a lam there as well. Everyone, you know, uh, figured out be sabilim muqim, but there was also a lam standing before this mutalik al khabar. What is the name for this lam? Very well done. First answer is there, which is lamul muzahlaka. Lamul muzahlaka, sliding lam, sliding lam. Lamul Muzahlaka, Lamul Farika, in, in Mukhafafa, with light one, with the light inna, with the lightened inna, you will see Lamul Farika. Okay, and we will see example of that too. Okay, my dear sisters, for those who have not responded, are you clear? Because the inna was there, now this Lam is going to be called Lamul Muzahlaka. I hope this was clear. Now comes another verse from Quran. وَإِن كَانَ أَصْحَابُ الْأَيْكَةِ لَزْغَالِمِينَ You see one other lam, and then you see an in here. Lam, and in there. What do you think this, now what are you going to name this lam? I need someone to name this baby. The baby is born, you have to give him a good name, right? Lamul Fariqa. Lamul Farika, because now my in is not inna, right? I cannot call it Muzahlaka. Now I'm going to call it Farika. This is differentiating lam. This is telling me, Saima, do not translate this in as not. Do not translate this in as if, as a condition particle. This in is inna. This in is inna. This in is from inna. Thakila. So it has been in Mukhafafa and inna Thakila. Translate this as indeed. Everyone with me? Yes. With, yes. The purpose is, you know, differentiate, differentiation. Here, there is no differentiation needed. You know this inna is in, his, in its original form. There is no confusion about inna. It's simply indeed. Why will you call this lam as differentiating lam or distinguishing lam, right? Makes sense? Now, because you don't need any differentiation here, this inna is very clear. You cannot confuse this inna with any other inna. There is only one inna. But you have learned three types of in, right? That you need to distinguish from each other, right? So then you need something that can differentiate one from another, huh? Everyone with me so far? <laughs> Making sense or no? <laughs> hmm. Yes, Muzakhlaka, you are going to say after Inna. Yes, um, after Inna. And Farika after In Mukhafafa. Farika after In Mukhafafa. Because we, why do you, will you need a, a, a differentiation? Why will you need a, someone to come and clarify for you when there is confusion? when there are more than one type of words, but when there is only one meaning for inna, why do I need differentiating lam? I will suffice with, I'll be okay with uh, lamul uh, muzakhlaka because here the function of lam is different. It slides now. It is doing the sliding job. Hmm? Everywhere it is going to be, in, uh, you know, indeed. Uh, you, you know, this, um, oh, so we say indeed, definitely. Yeah. Indeed, definitely means uh, about this one, you are saying. Are you, uh, is your question about the level of emphasis in the sentence? 
yes, you are going to, yes, yes. There are two particles of emphasis, just like in all, the, in this case as well. In this case also, there are two particles of emphasis. Similarly, here you also see two particles, but here this particle is not, not only emphasizing, but differentiating as well. I hope this is clear, my dear sisters. And we will, you know, as I, I as I told you, for those of you who have been doing homework and submitting homework, it is going to be piece of cake. And I was, you know, just checking my daughter's phone because I'm not on, in the group. So, and I sometimes don't get in as many, you know, messages and feedback from, um, you know, because it's, 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 there's, you know, because sometimes you are doing so many other stuff, uh, things as well. So, but I was looking at some homeworks and I was very proud of Sister Sabira. I, I uh, the last thing I, I saw her homework on the, in the group. Um, so I'm very, very proud of you. So for those of you who are finishing their homework and submitting in the group, you know, give yourself a pat on your back. Okay. I'm very proud of you. Okay. And for those of you who are not doing, doing their homework, please do your homework, okay, inshallah. Whatever you are given as a review, because review is done for you so that, you know, everything is, you know, is very, you, you are very well um, equipped with whatever concept is being taught. So last session we were learning about Issa Mosul. And I taught you about, you know, Issa Mosul, that, you know, all of them are going to be proper except for Ma and Man. What is going to be the type of ma and man? I mean, give me the type. In terms of type, are they common or proper? They are common, right? So we have, you know, learned they, they, uh, uh, they are proper except it's a mausul, al ismaul mausula are proper except ma and man. Remember that, okay? So ma and man, it's my mistake as well. I did not add the slide in the previous session. It would have been easier for you to, you know, grab this. But, you know, this was written in your slide that you know, they are proper except ma and man. And ma and man is going to be common. And we did not do many examples of ma and man in the last session. But now we are going to do, okay? Inshallah. So be, embrace yourself and get ready with all your brain. I know we are all fa fasting. But, uh, you know, inshallah, we'll, this is the month of blessings and uh, everything, the little is more in this month. So inshallah, we'll try our best, okay? So now we learned about these eight um, words. I taught you, you know, after you see an Islam of Soul, look for its baby, which is, you know, not go, cannot be separated from it. It is inseparable and you learned that this was Silatul Mawsul. The next thing was, you know, they can have any status. They can be graf nas bachar. Very important point that you learned and you were able to do it with me was that they connect whatever is after them to whatever is before them, right? You all were able to understand that concept. At least that was what my understanding was. I got it from you all that you have understood that, you know, they, they, they make connections with, between whatever is before them to whatever is after them, right? And I taught you about Silatul Mosul. How many types of Silatul Mosul um, I can see in my verses? What are the three types of Silatul Mosul that are there? My dear sisters, start typing. I will give you time, your sweet time. You can take, you can use abbreviations. Your Silatul Mosul can be a fragment. Very well done. Let's start with the fragment. Or what kind of a fragment you can see? Give me a type of a, two fragments that I have to, told you that you can see as your sila. Jar wal majroor, and the next one was zarfidafa, right? Jar wal majroor, zarfidafa, right? Then we learned that your Silatul Mosul can be a sentence. What are the two types of sentences I taught you can come and they are going to be your Silatul Mosul. Jumla Ismiya and then there was Jumla Failia, right? Jumla Ismiya, Jumla Failia. So that was that, right? We have, please, no one can bear forget, forget it, okay? Jumla Failia, as we can see, Kafaru, Jumla Ismiya, as we can see in Hum Ang Solati Him, Sahun, or something. 
in the form of shubu jumla, which is jar wal majroor and zarf idafa, ma'ahum min qablikum. Will you all remember this information? So three types of salatul mausul, jumla, ismiya, failia, and then this shubu jumla, which is jar wal majroor and zarf, okay? Jar wal majroor and zarf idafa is enough. You don't need to remember this term, okay? You may not, if you forget about it, that's okay too, okay? I taught you they can be majroor in, at the level of a fragment. They can be part of jar wal majroor fragment. They can be ismu inna, right? Inna lazina, as you can see here. They can be mudafi lehi. And we have done an example of this from Surah Al-Fatiha, right? Surat al-lazina and anta alayhi. You all understood that? Anyone has any doubts about it? Type one, Rana's, for those of you who are doing it for the first time. Barakallahu fiqh, Sister Samina. I got, uh, um, if you have understood it. And um, what about Rana's? Rana's, are you with me? Because I'm going to show you another example and um, and I'm go you guys are helping me today. Okay? So get ready for that. Rana's, if you are not on your computer, come back on your computer, okay? Mausub was sifa. Okay, shubu jumla just is a name, it's a term that is used for jar wal majroor and zarf idafa fragments. Okay, if your idafa is zarf idafa, like ma'akum, because it, it ma'ahum, ma'akum, qablikum, if, it, it, if the first word in your fragment, idafa fragment has to do with time and place, that idafa fragment can be called shubu jumla. Okay, that is it. It's just a term used for Jarwal Majroor fragment or Zarfi Dafa fragment. With me? Understood or no? Yeah, it is just a fragment. It, it, shubu, what does, what is the meaning of Shubu? Shubu means it is similar to Jumla, but is not a Jumla, right? It is similar. It looks like uh, similar to Jumla, but it's not a Jumla. Okay, it, it has a shabahat. Very well done. Yes, it, it looks like it, but it is not. It is not. It just looks like it, but it is not. It's a fragment. Okay. This part we have done last time. So today, um, I want you to do a little bit more of this that I have in front of you. Okay. So let's see. Fataku. Ittaku, this one word was, yes, yes, yes. Ittaku, forget about fa at this time. Ittaku is amr, okay? Ittaku is your fail amr, okay? So daro, be conscious of, be fearful of, okay? Annar, give me a rap for annar. It is your Naspin status. So when you have a, so what, uh, Azra, what kind of a sentence are we now dissecting? What kind of a verse are we seeing in front of our eyes? Number one, let's just do that. Is it Jumla Ismiya or Jumla Failia? Sister Zarina, I need answers from you as well. And Rubin too. Sometimes I don't take some names. So it does not mean that I am forgetting about you. Not at all, okay? Sister Ruxana is here. So Sister Ruxana also. So it, we are seeing because our jumla is starting with a command and you have learned fail amr, fail madin, fail mudare in the umbrella, under the umbrella of fail, right? They're all fail. They have an action, right? So you, you, have, you are supposed to be doing an action, which is be conscious of the fire, okay? Take care, take precaution against the fire. Now, now you know this is your Jumla failure. In your Jumla failure, what are the parts of Jumla failure? Remind me, I forgot about them. Real quick, I need the parts of Jumla failure. What did I teach you? Fail, file, maf'ul. These are three parts. At this stage, if you are well versed with them, I'm telling you, my dear sisters, rest is piece of cake piece of cake, you know, even, you know, I don't have a word, you know, even piece of cake is a difficult thing for some people, they cannot make cake or something, but it is easy, okay, so fail, now you have a fail, 
fail is about being conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you have a fail, what is the next step? You already determined your fail. Next step is, yes, very good job. Your file, your file. And wow, wow here is your file. You determine fail and file. Now comes your annar. What is annar? Maful bihi. Barakalaufi. So maful. It is answering your, what are we being asked to be conscious of? We are going to be, uh, we are asked to be conscious of fire. The fire. It is not any fire. It is very specific fire now. Annar. This is a fire. Probably the Al is here telling us that you are aware of this fire. You have heard about it. This is, you know about it. This is not common. It is proper. So think about it. Be careful about it. So yes, it's a fire of the hell. So now, Allati. What did we call Allati last time when we were dissecting these fragments? What was the labeling we gave to Allati? Is it, it is it's a Mosul. Number one, it is a Mosul. Is it matching in properties with Annar? Is it matching with properties with Annar? Focus on Alati first and then we'll go for Sila, okay? Is it matching? Uh, yes, say one if it is matching or if uh, say two if you don't think it is matching. Alati ta women in Arab um, uh, in Arabic language, they, they, you know, Arabic language, um, feminine words have love for ta, letter ta, right? So all four properties are matching. The word is non-flexible, but for, uh, you know, nasb status works for us. We'll call it fi mahalli nasbin. So this is a sifa for annar. Now look at this, what is coming after it? Vakuduha. What is your sentence starting with? This is, my dear, vakud. There cannot be, um, you know, a, a, um, an art fragment here, okay? Remember that. Vakud. Now your sila is starting. Your sila is starting. You already told me that my sila was starting. So how come art is coming now in your brain? You already were answering about Silla and I told you to hold your horses at that time, right? Now, focus on your Silatul Mosul. Your Silatul Mosul can be of three types. Number one is Jumla Ismiya or Jumla Failia and then is your fragment. What kind of Silla you are seeing here? Vakudu Ha. Vakudu. Ha is your Idafa. So, if this is an Idafa, what kind of a Jumla are we seeing? It is Jumla Ismiya. Jumla Ismiya. Vakudu ha is your idafa. It's fuel. It's fuel. This is your Jumla Ismiya. So Vakud, what is the labeling for your Jumla Ismiya? No, it's not a fail, my dear. It's not a fail. You have not learned any fail that looked like this, if you remember. There was no fail that looked like this. If you see, does it sound like Nasara, Nasaru? No. Does it look like Yansuru, Tansuru? No, it does not look like that. Does it look like Unsur, Unsura, Unsuru? Does it? Tell me. Fail Amr is here. Ittaku, that is Fail Amr. That is Fail Amr. Now we are looking at our Silatul Mosu, Vakudu. Vakudu is what? What's the status of this word? Vakudu is your rough in status. It is sentence has both. Yes, same sentence can have you know many things. In one sentence, you will find hundred sentences. Remember ayatun nur. In ayatun nur, how many sentences did we do? So many sentences we covered in ayatun nur. And so is in many verses of Quran. You will see one sentence made up of four verses of Quran, four ayahs like Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim, Maliki Yomidin. Four verses made one sentence, almost four, yeah, yeah, I think uh, four, uh, four or three. So, but sometimes one verse will have many, many sentences. So now focus here 
Vakuduha is your muktada annasu. When you have figured out your muktada, what do you look for after muktada? Your khabar. Do you find one? What is your khabar here? Annas. Barakallahu fi. How will you connect al-hijara to annas? Atf. When you write atf, when you write al-hijara to ismatu, you don't need anything. Everything is understood. Make sense? If it does, type one. If it does not, type two. So here we see Alati came. Alati is this a Mosul, and then comes our Sila to Mosul, which was Jumla Ismia. The whole sentence is connected to whatever is before. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is teaching us to be fearful of the fire, the one whose fuel is people and stones. Is it understood, everyone? Okay. Now, I am going to give you another word, my dear sisters. Ubudu. What do you think about this word that I just highlighted for you? You think about it and I'm going to see who's paging me from the hospital. Okay. This is a com command. So, uh, Samina, how, how did you determine that, my dear sister? Can you uh, help me with that? How do we know? First of all, you know, you, you can see that, you know how the word is, there is a Hamzatul Basal. And then also, you know, there is, uh, uh, there was supposed to be, you know, the, the word is Madzum in status. Madzum, how is this word Madzum, Sister Ruby? We have learned three ways to make, uh, yes, dropping of noon. We has been noon. Barakallahu feet, my dear sister. Both answers are correct. Beautiful answers. You drop noon or be has been noon. Omission of noon, dropping of noon. In Arabic, you just call it be has been noon. Okay. Rabbakum. What is Rabbakum doing here? What is the, doing like, in, may Allah forgive me, but uh, Rabbakum is an idafa. What is the status of your mudaf? Give me the status of your mudaf. It is, look carefully. It is Nasbin status, right? With Fatha, Nasbin status. So, what is you all worship? What is going to be the labeling for this Rabba? Maful bihi. What kind of a sentence are we erabifying? Jumla failia. Rabbakum is going to be my maful bihi. Now comes Allazi. Allazi. Can you connect Allazi to something which is before it? So don't just go by whatever I have written here. Focus on whatever is there, uh, something, uh, um, you know, just don't be tricked by that, okay? Okay, yes, Sister Zidina, you are right. Allazi can be connected to Rab. Rab. And now my sister Zidina is going to tell me how she is connecting Allazi with Rab. Sister Zidina, which fragment can you call? Which, what kind of a relationship is there? Okay, so now the mirror is not returning to anyone. Okay, the mirror is returning to Ubudu, but uh, wow in Ubudu, but you know, Allazi and Rab. Allazi and Rab. They are Rabba is singular, Rabba is masculine. Rabba is proper because of kum, right? Mudafilehi made it proper. Then what is left? It is Nasbin status and we can call a lazi, this is not flexible, so it can be Nasbin status. So now tell me what's the relationship between Rabba kum and a lazi? 
we are all four properties are match matching mosu wasifa so now hear about this property of your rab khalaqakum what do we see after we determine something is a mosul after is a mosul what is the number one thing that i should look for it's baby silatul mosul baby silatul mosul and what kind of sila we have here we i, I also got an answer from sister, uh, uh, from sister zohra that this is jumla failia jumla failia look at allazi allazi qalaqa right jumla failia qalaqa he created what is the status of kum here i want to do one more i don't think you know the speed we are doing things uh, finish it off try to be a little quick it is nasbin status why it is what kind of an answer we are getting it is maful be he it is pronoun attached to a fail always nasbin status because it's always maful be he Allazina, he created you all, and and Allazina, this Allazina is going to be called. What is the labeling for Allazina? What is the term used for Allazina? There is an at fragment between them, but what will be the labeling for it? It's a mausul. That is that 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 is that. But it, I, I, what what is the actual term? Yes, it is a matuf. It is going to be matuf, right? It is matuf here. Hmm? Now, after I determine my, you know, this is my matuf. So, what, whatever is going to be the status of kum, alazina is going to follow it in the status. Huh? It will follow. Hmm? It's going to be mansub fi mahali nasbin as well, just like kum is fi mahali nasbin. Now, after my samosul again, what should I look for? it's baby which is silatul mausul and now don't make this mistake that like, you know i am giving you irab to to be placed on verses and you are writing baby 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 and there is no silatul mausul word there but yes for understanding my dears whatever helps you because you know you need to know that this connection is In inseparable, they are inseparable from each other, and I want you to uh, understand this. Okay, so what kind of sila we have? Is it a sentence, jumla ismia, jumla failia, or fragment? It is jar wal majroor, right? Jar wal majroor. It is jar wal majroor shubu jumla, right? So now men kabli kum is your sila tul mausul, right? Then comes la alla. Where did we read this word La Allah? No, no. Inna anna ka anna leita La Allah la kinna. What happened? Hmm? We just did it. Hmm? La Allah. So this is your harufe nasiba, right? So, harufe nasiba, mushabba will fail, and why there mushabba will fail? You have learned that as well. Go over the slide if you forgot about it. Perhaps so that hopefully you all. So, what did I just tell you? Whenever you see harufe nasiba, what is starting with harufe nasiba? What are we dealing with now? Jumla ismia is the correct answer because that is the second type of jumla ismia that I was teaching you. If you remember, right? That's jumla ismia with some different meaning. Jumla ismia with some different, with more emphasis, right? Inna anna with more emphasis, and rest of them are with different meanings, right? So la alla, I am going to now do what? What? What am I going to look for? Now I am going to look for ismu la alla, which is kum number one. Ismu la alla, that is kum, and then I am going to look for khabru la alla. And what is khabru la alla? La alla this time. What kind of a khabar we have here? Jumla failia, very well done. So when you when you have jumla failia as your khabar, 
focus here. No, 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 it, no. You, you, you started all together different sentence from La Allah, okay? So it's stay with La Allah, just mark it, just mark it. And that's what you are going to learn with these sentences. Okay, La Allah is going to be starting, you know, Harf Nasib La Allah wa Ismuha, and then comes your Habru La Allah, which is Tattakoon, Tattakoon, right? And this is Jumla Failia. And what should be the additional labeling for that? When a Jumla is my Khabar, what do I call it? Starts with Fi. Fi Mahalli Rafin. Fi Mahalli Rafin. Barakallahu Fi, my dear sisters. I hope everyone has understood this. I always tell you, there's always a, um, you know, uh, their, uh, their, your uh, subject and predicate are in sync. So, tattaqoon and kum, are they in sync with each other? Yes? Okay, tattaqoon. Who is the doer in tattaqoon? Wow, is the doer. Barakallahu fi. Where is your silatul mausul ending at? For wal lazina. Al lazina had a sila, it ended with what? Make a guess. Very well done. Yes, yes, very well done. Very well done. This is your Silatul Mosul. So that's it. And then comes your new sentence. La Allakum Tattakun. Okay, so now two minutes, and this is the month of Ramadan, the month of getting all the blessings and gathering all the blessings. Okay, so let's just real quick do one thing and then we'll call it a day. Okay, and uh, inshallah, I will finish at, at my, you know, time um, but you know we we still have hudallil muttaqin if i give you this verse this part of the verse and i tell you put a rab on that hudan hudan means guidance if the, somebody does not know the translation i'm translating it for you hudan jumla ismia what are you going to call hudan what is the labeling for hudan my dear sisters it is going to be muptada lil muttaqin what is going to be lil muttaqin Jarwal Majroor, and what do I call Jarwal Majroor? Mutalik Bil Khabar. Is there any way I can connect a Lazina with whatever is before? Number, look at the number, gender, type, look at number, gender, type. Al Mosufa Sifa, everyone with me? Huh? Everyone calls it Sifa, so what will be the status? What is the status we are giving to al lazina Because it's non-flexible, it looks like the same in all three statuses. al muttaqina what is the status for muttaqina Think about muttaqina Lil muttaqina my dear sisters. Lil muttaqina li, li. You called it jar wal majroor. It was majroor. So it is jar in status and so is al lazina jar in status. After al lazina I will look for my silatul mausul. What kind of silatul mausul I have here? And the Silatul Mosul is here, Yu'minuna. Jumla failure, Yu'minuna is what kind of Jumla failure? Is it Mudare, Madin? Mud is fine. So Mud means Mudare, okay? Everyone, um, uh, who is the file? One letter is fine. Don't worry about Lord. Bil Ghaib. Yu'minuna, Yu'minuna, Bil Ghaib. What I mean, Jarwal Majroor, what should I label Jarwal Majroor? Now, since my sentence is Jumla failure, it is going to be Mutalik will fail. Wa yuqimuna, yuqimuna. What I'm, it's an at, so what kind of a word? Again, a Jumla failure. Doer is vow. As-salata. What should I label? As-salata. Everyone, they establish, what do they establish? As-salah. Wamimma. Now comes something else. Jarwal majroor. Min plus ma. Mim ma. And this ma. This ma is another silatul, is a type of is a mausul that is common. Razaknahum. It is again, it's a mausul which is common. What should I look after? It's a mausul. I should always look for. Silatul Mosul. So what is Razakanahum? Okay. Jumla. 
it was is a sila it is a number one it is a sila because ma was a mausool and after every is a mausool i look for silatul mausool razakna is my silatul mausool hum is maful bihi attached to this silatul mausool razakna is the doer in razakna is na fa'ilin fa'ilin na fa'ilin right naul fa'ilin which is v and then home is maful bihi yum fiqun what do i see here jumla failure where is my sila ending for mimma what do you think is the end of my sila razaknahu raz very well done very well done so this if i give you this as jumla fil ya so and i asked you this jar majrur this jar wal majrur every time you have a jumla ism fil ya you have jar wal majrur you label it what mutalik bil fil can we call this mutalik bil fil muqaddam for yum fi kuna they spend from whatever we provided them whatever we provided them and this is common you don't know some may have a lot of intellect some help others by teaching some may have lot of artistic skills and they use that skill and they spend on people in that way in they spread deen by you know by, by doing calligraphy right and some they have a lot of money and they spend a lot of money on others some they cook well and they feed poor hungry so ma is ambiguous and it is ambiguous for a reason this was very specific very specific muttaqin there's no, no, no there's no ambiguity about it very clear has to be one who believes in unseen has to be one who establishes salah but when it comes to spending when it comes to spending when it comes to charity it can be whatever whatever okay allah did not allah did not say that you know you, you, they spend money or they spend um their properties or they you know they make ho houses for some, some someone no it can be anything anything so keep that in mind with that oh i am already 5 minutes past my time so my apologies go to your next class سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد ان لا اله الا انت نستغفرك ونتوب اليك السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته